goods have been acquired. What's up, YouTube? I got a new phone. A little story time. So, my iPhone 11 Pro Max got this for my 16th birthday, you guys. I have had it for three years. It has served me well. You know what I mean? I've recorded a plethora of TikToks. I've recorded so many self tape auditions. I have recorded YouTube videos using this. I've mashed work. I put in the work with this phone and it served me well. Recently, the gyroscope inside my phone has become faulty. So, I took it to the Apple store. I don't know, like, it was about a month ago or two months ago whenever I would be taking videos or photos the subject of what I wanted to record wouldn't focus it just be shaky and that is very bad because I record so much content for social media and bro for auditions I don't want to send a video to a casting director and the camera's doing this the camera's doing this for reference I bought the camera today I'm gonna insert a clip of me recording the lovely gentleman at the store who put on the screen protector on my phone using my iPhone 11 Pro Max so that you could see the quality of footage and like how inadequate it is so I bought the iPhone 15 Pro Max in titanium with 512 gigabytes because this phone was 512 gigabytes and um, I've, I have 120 gigabytes left like the the people at the Apple store helped me out because I did not intend on buying a phone today I walked into the Apple store like oh they'll just fix my camera well I knew I'd pay but like I didn't know how expensive I didn't know it would be that expensive it cost I think around 300 pounds to fix my camera but then as he was explaining it I just clocked okay that's all well and good yeah 300 pounds to fix the camera but then after you fix the camera we have to take into consideration that I've had this phone for three years and the battery is not going to last forever um let's check the battery health and you can check in settings your battery health actually that's not bad 75 percent that's not bad for the maximum capacity but i just know that over time it's gonna deteriorate and um i paid for a screen protector straight away guys when i buy a phone i don't care i don't care where i am i don't care if i'm buying it online i will buy a case and a screen protector asap as you saw the guy applied it already So the box has been opened, but that will not affect the unboxing or setup process. I mean, it will affect the unboxing process, but not the setup process. The main reason why I got a new film was the camera, but another reason was convenience. I edit all my content using the SIM card. This SIM card, which is capable of recording 4K footage. Some SIM cards can't. SIM cards, am I slow? Um, SD cards. And I use this, I use the Apple SD USB C. This is USB C because my MacBook is USB, the port is USB C. So I use the USB C and this is the thing, the SD card uh, reader. But my iPhone 11 Pro Max is not USB C, it's the Lightning port. But the iPhone 15 Pro Max is USB C. I like editing on my MacBook because Final Cut Pro is on my MacBook and that's like my favorite editing software. But I've always wanted to rough cut on my phone because of convenience. Because rough cutting YouTube videos is one of the most tedious parts of editing. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This is the phone's info if anybody on earth wants to read that. iPhone 15 Pro Max with USB-C charge cable. Apple, Apple, Apple. What the hell happened to back in like 2016 whenever somebody would buy a phone and you'd, you'd look after us, you'd take care of us. Not only give us an earphone plug, but you'd give us a charging brick, the cable, you'd give us stickers. Um, where the hell is it? Bring that back. Look after your customers, Apple. Where, where's my stickers? Where's my, um... Wait, am I gonna look so stupid? What if I open it and there's stickers in there? I feel like there's stickers. So I already have the blocks. So you're lucky that I have the blocks, but if I didn't have the blocks, I would have been even more pissed. Oh, I should do a comparison. Let me feel the weight. Hmm. I don't know if it's a psychological thing. I don't know. Of course, I'm going to say that this is heavier because this is the new phone. 
But genuine, if somebody blindfolded me and was like, which one's heavier? I'd probably say they're the same way. This is the case I got. I just got a clear case. Guys, I have so many stickers. All of these stickers here on my board, I've accumulated. I've gotten from ordering from brands and I've just been sticking them, but without taking off the plastic because one day I want to stick it on my phone. I don't know, like, it doesn't fit in the case. This is how it looks, bro. Beautiful. Like a glazed donut. I don't know. <gasps> Yo. Okay. It's just saying hello, bonjour, como tu tabela, hola. Um, ni hao, um, konnichiwa, um, yeah, all of them, all of them. The iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8, I feel like I can explain the difference. Well, like, back then, in the past, I, I could explain the difference. But if somebody put a gun to my head, I was like, yo, write me an academic article explaining the difference between the iPhone 14 and 15. I'll say, you know what, pull the trigger. Put me out of my misery. I don't even want to begin to start thinking about the yap that I would have to produce in order for you to maybe believe me. I was yapping actually. Apple still includes the Apple stickers. I don't know why I thought they wouldn't. Oh, your mum were just watching me breathe and just text people. Um, sorry. Why is it down, actually? Ooh, that is disgusting. Mm-mm. Those were clean clothes, by the way. I do not live like a bum. I just feel like I have to clarify that, because I, I know some people would have insinuated that. I've just seen that. I hate about getting a clear case is after a couple of weeks slash months it started to yellow it looks like I don't know looks so acidic oh that's part of the phone oh see that little dot there not this black dot that white dot I thought that was like a sticker or dust but it turns out it's literally part of the phone <laughs> Yep, and now I have 5G. Why is it saying 5G? I've never had 5G. Well, let me check if they have Yoruba. They do not. Select your country or region, United Kingdom. This is new, appearance. I've never got this. I mean, it's been a couple of years since I've set up a phone. It's basically asking how big it wants notifications and etc. to appear. Wait, wait, this is default. That's default, right? That's medium. And large, I'm not gonna pick large. My eyesight isn't that bad. I'm gonna pick default. Cause I'm just, I'm so used to default. I'm gonna do quick start. Looking for nearby devices. Bring your current iPhone near this iPhone. It says sign in. Yes, unlock to continue. Now I need to take a picture on my old phone of this thing here. And then that's gonna transfer the data or whatever. Yeah, and then it just said, use Apple ID, blah, 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 to set up a new phone. Create a new child account. No. Then it's asking me to enter my passcode of my old phone. Keep this iPhone near your new phone while your information is being transferred. That's what, that's what it says on my old phone. Okay, now it's saying data and privacy. Oh, it'll take longer. Face ID, damn, okay. I guess we're doing that now. I don't know if you can see it, okay. Use face ID with mask. I've never seen this before. 
can recognize the unique features around the eye area to authenticate. Do all iPhones do this or is this just for the new phone? I've never, I've never seen this before. I'm going to choose to not do that only because I don't have a mask. Okay, this is the part that's going to take a while. If you are moving from iOS iPhone, you can transfer all its data and settings directly to this iPhone. Keep your iPhone nearby and connect it to power until the transfer is complete. Estimated transfer time, 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe that's the default time because, because there's so much used storage on my iPhone, I'm going to stop yapping and click continue. Terms and conditions, send by email. Should I even send it by email? I just can't, I'm not agree. I guess it's transferring so I can just uh, come back later, so um. Location services, I'm gonna enable it because I had it enabled on my old phone. Ooh, now it's asking me to add the three digit CVV number. Now it's asking me if I wanna share my iPhone analytics. Um, I can't remember if I said, I'm gonna click do not share. And I was asking for app analytics as well. I'm gonna click do not share as well. Emergency SOS, iPhone is ready to help in an emergency. Sorry, I should be sharing it with you guys. That's so cool. Okay, now it's actually gonna tell me how much time it's gonna take to transfer. I'll come back when, once the data is transferred. I haven't recorded in a while, but nevertheless, I'm back to finish what I've started. I've got another case. This is another case I got. It cost about 10 pounds. This is with the gray case in. Oh, it just looks so clean. I think I actually prefer this. I prefer this to the clear one. Maybe I can still put stickers in it. Yeah, honestly, I think I like this because I like how grippy it is. Oh, final pickup is the USB-C to lightning jack to lightning, uh, lightning ear, uh, earphone adapter. Bro, I'm irritated. It's in and it works. See that. So let me play something to see if it works. I added more stickers to my phone case because in the last clip, I think I added like four stickers, but now I added five. Because now I, I really like how it looks because it's, it's it's giving me like collage vibes. Um, yeah, we have, what, three Carsico London stickers and two unknown London stickers. So this is clean. And the case is from JTEC. Yo, I'm recording this clip on my iPhone 15 because I just wanted to see the quality. I just recorded a self tape and I was very, very happy with the quality. Bro, it just looks so crisp and clean. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I'll include this in the video so that like you can see a video comparison. Yo, yo, yo guys, so it's been a couple of weeks. I bought this phone on the 7th of April and the date today is the 29th of April. Also, if you say anything about how frizzy my hair is right now compared to how it was in the previous clips, uh. I will find you and I will hurt you. I'm just gonna give my little review about how I've been finding having the new iPhone for the past couple of weeks. I don't wanna waste your time, let's get into it. Number one, I cracked my screen. I cracked the screen, well, the screen protector. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It's really, it's, it's really negative, like, it's so small. It's annoying, it's ugly. When I go home from uni, I think this weekend, I'm gonna buy a new one off Amazon and 
apply it again because I just hate having a crack on my screen. I could live on the edge. I could be a little bit dangerous. I could be a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I do have Apple Care, but I'm just not that type of guy. I just hate the thought of my grubby, slimy, disgusting fingers with the germs and the earth touching my phone, my screen. It, 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 the thought of it keeps me up at night not having a screen protector on my phone. Honestly, I don't even know how I cracked it. I don't remember my phone falling on the floor because if my phone fell on the floor, you would probably see like a little dent in the case. Um, yeah, well, that's another thing. I'm loving this case. I don't think I'm ever gonna switch this case, guys. Like, it's just so sick. Okay, point number two, the Dynamic Island, this thing. Okay, let me just clarify this. The Dynamic Island was not the be all end all factor of me getting the new phone. It's the fact that my camera was broken. But now that I have this phone, the Dynamic Island is pretty freaking cool. Like, why did I say it like that? <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool. Um, whenever I'm listening to music, the song would come up on the dynamic island and I can hold it and then it would enlarge around the top of the screen and then I can like skip it, forward the song. If I'm calling someone, a little icon would come up on the dynamic island and I can hold it and I can change the settings of the call. I can switch, if I'm FaceTiming somebody, I can hold the dynamic island and switch the call to my iPad or my Mac. It is very, very, very um, efficient, effective, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's really cool. Okay, point number three, 5G. I went on the Apple website a couple of days ago. I found out that not all iPhones has 5G capability, but this phone does. My iPhone 11 did not have 5G. Low key, it's not even low key, what the hell, high key bro. I'll be on the train, I'll be on the Elizabeth line, I'll be on the central line. I'll just be underground and I'm, I have internet, but it's, it's not like through the whole underground, it's like certain parts. Yeah, that was really cool. Another thing, the fact that this phone has USB-C, it's just another really helpful thing that I really liked about having this phone. Most of my electronics have the USB-C port, except my AirPods. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow my TikTok, follow my IG, subscribe to the channel if you're a fly, if you're a cool, if you're the sh Anyway, in a bit, you guys stay blessed and comment what other content you wanna see from me. I keep on saying this, comment what other content you wanna see from me. Aloha, dude. Doesn't aloha mean bye and hello? Wait, let me check that. Aloha is used as both hello and goodbye in Hawaiian, yeah. Aloha, y'all.